Tenda Router fans, this is Paul, one of the techs from Microcenter, and today we're going to take a look at the Tenda AC1750 router. Today we're going to take a look at how to take advantage of the USB storage ports that are on the router. Let's get started. So before we get started, the first step is you want to take your USB flash drive, your storage device, and plug it into one of the USB ports on the back of the router, like so. All right, and the next step takes place inside the computer, so let's switch over to that. Okay, so once you have the USB storage device plugged into the router, you want to go ahead and open up a browser, and we want to go to 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address of your Tender router. So we want to log into the router, and unless you've changed it, the default is admin for the username and admin for the password, both in lowercase. Click on login and then click on advanced. We want to click on the USB tab. We want to put a check in the enable USB storage sharing center, so put a check and hit save. Okay, and this is the contents of the USB storage device that I just plugged into the router. So go ahead and click on add, and you want to use the same login information that you use on the computer, and that will tie it to this particular user account. Click on okay. So now what you want to do you, you see your name under users. Now you can add as many users as you need to. You want to put a, a dot in the little circle to select that. So then open your Explorer view and type in backslash backslash 192.168.0.1, the IP address of the router, and then you will see the information on your USB drive that is attached to the router. Uh, anyone on your network will be able to see it, but only users that you've added will actually have read-write access. All right, so that's how to enable and use USB storage devices on this uh, Tenda AC1750 dual band router. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com. 